Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I haven't made one of these in a very, very long time. This is a monster spotlight video. And today, uh, Soma Cruz actually just hit me up on, on Discord. And he told me that he, his fire vampire is ready for, um, you know, for spotlighting. So this is a fire vampire evil three. If you guys probably know him, he's been in my videos quite a lot. Um, he is a, well, actually, no, quite a lot. I, um, I spotlighted him a long time ago with his Dark Gatito, and he's he's one of the top players in the game. And he has, um, you know, he has just really, really OP shit. So, this is his his vampire. So, he's on Gem of Ruin. HP, crit rate, and HP. Um, and they're all crit rate. Like, look at, look at this. Like, this is all crit rate. Um, this is crit rate. This is crit rate. So he has very very high crit rate and very very high HP. So he's definitely going to be self-sustaining quite a lot. He also has that gem of ruin set, which gives him more crit damage. So he's going to be doing some decent damage as well. Um, he didn't really stack attack on him, but he he just stacked a lot of HP. So he's going to be healing a lot. Um, he has he has this skill, which restores his own HP by 50% every single time that he he crits. And he also has the Hunter skill, which increases his crit damage even more by another 50%. Um, so we're going to test them out. I, I decided to bring this team because I wanted to use the Armor Break to kind of show off his damage. And also at the same time, I wanted to see if he actually has the potential to solo the boss. Because I these these two are probably going to die. The Cupid's probably not going to die for a while. But uh, we're just going to see how close it, it comes to, to him being able to solo the boss. I'm pretty sure he definitely will be able to do that. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should do it. Should I, should I take everything out? Like, uh, do you guys want to see his damage? Do, do you guys want to see him solo the boss? All right, let's, uh, let's, let's do the armor breaks in the beginning so you guys can see the damage. Like, I'll put in some armor breakers in the beginning so you guys can see the damage. And then afterwards, um, these guys are probably gonna die, and you can watch them solo the boss. All right, that's that seems like a pretty good idea. Oh, wait, wait, stop the auto. Okay, we're gonna start with an armor break. All right, we're gonna start with an armor break. We're gonna start on we're gonna start on this guy. That didn't land. All right, that landed. All right, let's 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 see his damage. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is 2 HP, no no extra bonus damage by the way. Alright, actually let's finish her off. Let's armor break another another one. Oh, that's like 5 hits of, uh, of 11k, that is a lot of damage. Dang. All right, we're gonna we're we're just gonna auto this part, and then we can see his AOE damage in the next wave. Man, it makes me wish I I, I should build. Uh, makes me think I I mean that I should build one. Uh, should I save the AOE? Yeah, let's save the AOE armor break. Let's armor break these two first. Let's watch him crit on one of them. Oh, that was that was very very close to one shotting. Um, yeah, let's finish him off. Since I have no uh, no other sustainers, you guys got to keep in mind this guy's built with double HP. He's not a he's not a nuker, all right. All right, I'm gonna use him to finish him off, and then I have another armor break next turn for the guy right beside him. All right, this should finish this guy off. Oh my god, it didn't crit. He had so he has like 90 something percent crit rate on on his uh on on his vampire. All right, this if it crits should kill. So he does rely a little bit on the gem of ruin set to to uh to give him give him enough crit damage to to take down his enemies but it's still very very high damage if it crits that was really unfortunate he only has like a 20 percent chance where he doesn't crit i think 
less than 20% where he doesn't crit. That was that was really unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do an AOE. I'm gonna armor break as many as possible, and we're gonna we're gonna see the damage of his AOE. All right, we're gonna see how much this actually hits for. Oh dang! That was that was some sick damage. And he's 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 even built tanky. He's not even built with attack. I think this is probably the right way to build him. Um, mix in crit damage, and like a ruin set with like a high crit rate. It's probably the best way. And then like double HP. Oh shit! I should have probably turned it to three times. All right, let's start with an AOE. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna finish this thing off. Okay, now, now just, uh, just, just solo the boss now. I'm pretty sure my other guys are. Actually, no, I'm not. Like, it's, it's kind of sad that you guys can't see the sustain. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep autoing this guy until he, eventually kills my other two units, alright? Because I have no sustain besides him. And we can kind of tell uh, if he actually has the potential to solo a boss, which I think he does. Because the boss is barely doing any damage, and he heals for 50% of his HP every single time that he crits. Yeah, all right, all right. Here's the here's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna actually kill the thing on the side, and then we're gonna kill the boss. All right, we're gonna set it to full auto, and we're gonna see if he can do that. But there's a very very high chance that the boss dies before uh, to his AOE before the other thing actually does. Oh, this guy can definitely solo the boss. Boss is d doing barely any damage to him. He heals for fifty percent of his max HP every time he crits. There's just no way. Well, actually, there might be a way. If he if he doesn't use his first skill, <laughs> that could be bad too. I mean, I think he should start using his first skill before he takes even more damage. I think that might be a disadvantage. A disadvantage is he's going to use his second skill, which doesn't ha give him any sort of sustain. All right, as long as this crits. Yeah, 50% heal. Look at that. This might be bad though. Like, like if he doesn't use his first skill, he actually can't sustain. Like the AI is actually really dumb. Cause, I mean, this this probably won't be a, a problem if you're running him in a team. Oh shit, he might die die, die to this. Oh my god, stupid AI. But he does actually have potential to solo the boss, though. Uh, if the AI wasn't so stupid. Like, I mean, on his first kill, he heals for 50% of his HP. But when it's only when he uses his nuke that it, it fucks up. But if you pair him up with a healer, like, the healer's gonna be the one getting the blue soul. So, like, I mean, the healer's gonna be getting half of the blue soul. So every time he nukes, the healer's, like, every two turns, at the very least, is gonna be healing him up anyways. Um... So it, that isn't even a problem. So I think that it only messed up because he was the only one like by himself alone. I think if there's a situation where you want him to solo the boss and let like just have everybody else die, he might not be able to do it on auto because of how dumb the AI is. But this monster definitely has a lot of potential. Like he has a lot better self sustain than the uh, than the Wild Fang, and his like even if you put attack down on him, he's still going to be healing 50%. So there's that. I'm sorry I fucked up, alright, that the AI was dumb, it was it was not my fault, it was not even your monster's fault. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, and if you guys want to get spotlighted in the future, um, send me an email or send me or leave a comment with your in-game name and what monster you want me to spotlight, and I can do a video on that as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.